Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. In today's episode I'd like to go and look at the, the machines which are from Extra Trees. So let's go straight over there. Then they're the, here by the genetic section. And here are the machines. So we have here a lumber mill, here a woodworker, here a panel worker, here a glass worker and finally a tile worker. And these machines need various things to function. So in this particular case, we just needs wood, fairly straightforward. This one needs wood polish. This machine also needs wood polish, and that's for the panel worker. Uh, this machine here needs glass fittings. Take one of those out. And this machine here is needs a mortar. So. So the recipe for the glass fittings is very straightforward. One iron ingots with four sticks, and that produces a glass fitting. And the mortar is four clay around one gravel. Gives me six mortar. I'll put those back in those machines. So I want to fill up my inventory. So. And this one here takes wood polish. Now wood polish is actually made by a bit more complicated process. So in here I've got a squeezer and that's taking wood, which is, let's take these two out of here. This is, a, this is all oak. And that squeezes the oak, makes a, you didn't see that, it went straight into this chest here, some wood pulp and the output is resin. The resin I'm feeding into here to a still, and the still is taking resin from the wood pulp and outputting turpentine. The turpentine, when it's mixed with beeswax in the carpenter, produces wood polish. So that's what we need for that machine. So what can we do with these machines? Well, obviously the lumber mill just chops up wood. It's fairly straightforward. Produces bark and produces sawdust. It actually says it's got wood in there, it's not true, because it says no wood. In fact, all of the, these mods have a little bit of a problem with that. So let's take some lime wood, for example, and stick some lime wood into the lumber mill. And this time it's producing lime wood planks. Actually, I can wait till I get 60 of those. So I won't. And then we can put this wood into the woodworker here and we have different patterns. We've got bars, designs and emblems. So for example you can have here a square emblem, roundish ones, and the colour of these depends on the order of the, the items. So if I swap those round, you'll see this time the light ones in the middle. If I change the wood, using sort of using poplar user. This is an octagonal wooden tile, lime and cherry. Cherry here. Of course you can even put cherry in both sides and then you get a pattern with just cherry wood on that, which also is quite a, a nice effect. And then you can go and do other things like uh, have a pattern like this, diagonal patterns, whatever you would like to have. There's a lot of patterns in here. Squares. Actually, let's make it a bit clearer. And I also don't really like green, so it's ugly. So here we have a nice little checker wooden pile. So we could say take some of these. Oops, I'll take them from here. But also, it's important to be able to show you some of the other effects. So let's take this one, thin corner. Let's have four of those. And I'm just wondering if there's just a straightforward plain pattern with no patterns in it at all. Here we are. Just a blank pattern. And in fact, you can have swap that over and you can have the blank pattern of the, the inner colour. Let's just take a few of those. In fact, and we could also take these ones here. Don't want it the other way around. Four 
that'll do. And then you can put these down anywhere you want to. So let's just, uh, don't need the bed for the time being. Let's just put the bed over here. In fact, let's just put some stuff into this chest here that I'm not using, like the bark and the sawdust. And in fact, the hill cherry samples, I don't need those with me. And we just put those down. So here, and when you put them down, you'll see that it works like this. In fact, what I was going to do was to do this, wasn't I? So I need to move these around. Here's a little hatchet. Put that one here. And again, hatchet here. And Durium hand which is very fast, so I put one of those in the middle. You can see what I'm trying to do. Oops, I just dropped the ones I wanted. Right, now we have this pattern. It doesn't it still gets laid down in one particular uh, direction, the default direction, but we can change that. So what I need here is a carpenter hammer. This is a master carpenter hammer, and the recipe for that is fairly straightforward. Two sticks of wood, one gold, and two obsidian. This, the normal one is iron and wood planks here. And what you do is you take it and you simply right-click on it, and then that on the block you want to turn, and as you can see, oops, I want to do that one, did I? And that one. It rotates them all around, and you end up with a shape pattern like that. And of course, I've got more patterns in here. So, for example, I've got some stripy ones. So you could do stripes. So here we are. Let's move that out of the way. Don't need it yet. Let's just do something very simple. And we we'll take the hammer again. And just rotate stuff around. So you can do all sorts of patterns, anything you want to. Didn't really need this one, did I? So let's just take this one out of the way. Now, so that's those. The next, the next machine was a, pan, was a panel worker. It's exactly the same. This time, instead of producing uh, blocks, we're producing panels. So for example, in this case, I've got a panel here, but let's just take some of these. And again, you can put this as a bit more symmetrical, so it's not going to work the same way. And you can put those down. So, you don't need to rotate these, I don't suppose. Nice passy of squiggly floor. Of course, they are a block high, even though they're invisibly not a block high. But they look quite nice. Next machine is this one. This is a glass worker. And here I'm using pigmented glass and a glass fitting. I've done the glass fitting already, I think. And the pigmented glass, how do we get that? Right, actually that was quite a challenge. So let's have a look. Here I have a, a, tr a trowel from Botany. So all you do with the trowel is right click some ground and then that turns this into soil. And then we take some flowers. Actually I have got some flowers, they're just in this, this bag here. So I've got some dandelions and I've got some azure bluette. And so all I need to do now is to plant these dandelions. Oops, press the wrong button. I'll start with this one. And as you plant them, this is dandelion Minecraft. Now when I look at this now, it's not, oops, let's take this flower. Let's take this flower here. Let's have a look what I've got. So this time I've got a botany flower, and this was a Minecraft flower. So as soon as you plant them, they become botany flowers. 
and they all become slightly different so they don't uh, oh, this, this time I did and this one didn't so with this botany flower I can then get pigments so now I've got two yellow pigments and to color glass all you have to do is to get some glass so I want uh, eight like that put them into a crafting table with the color and it's I think it's this pattern I'm not sure whether it's in the corners or the middle yes it is and I get some yellow glass and I get eight yellow glass from the eight glasses uh, I put in and the white one is the same I get white pigment I'll take some out of here and I've got some white glass and then I can put these into the glass worker here and make different patterns so here was one pattern with red glass and mauve pigment change that to white then we get white patterns it's the same thing as all of the other machines so we could take some of these and you can lay them down let's get rid of the dandelion I don't need that for the time being in fact what I can do is I put that down and it'll get picked up and put into the forest's woven pack quite useful this pack actually it does uh, carry all sorts of things so fruits and plants and trees and saplings whatever right the glass there we are so I can place this down like this and then I can rotate it with a hammer and if you do shift right click you can then rotate it in the, the horizontal, horizontal zone like this and you end up with a pattern like that that's quite cool isn't it and if you use silk touch tools I think it's silk touch like the uh, like the pickaxe it doesn't break them you can pick them up and replace them as you want to so I can put these away and tile wooden put those away and glass we don't need either See, I've got these three dandelions over here. In fact, I had some more over here. And they've got some weeds on them now. But it doesn't work with. So here's a bioma plenty plant here. Uh, it's still gone in my backpack. It only works with Minecraft plants. So here's your bank. Here's your your rose. It doesn't change. A oh, rose should. If I now pick up this rose here, and oh, it's gone back into my backpack, of course, it's still a biome of plant, plant, and I can't use it as a pigment. So the pigment recipe is just simply like that. I get a red rose, Minecraft. I don't get um, the botany pigments, which I get from these. See, this says pigment. That's the difference between the different uh, plants. It only works with Minecraft plants for pigments. And of course you can't pigment it wood or anything like that. Right, that's almost that's almost everything for today. But I've got one more thing, which is some fun. Here I've got um, a Eulorium queen. This, as you can see, is producing some Eulorium comb. Uh, I should take the Eulorium comb out. Maybe I'll get some with a bit of luck I'll put this through here into the centrifuge and with a bit of luck I'll get some grains here you see I've got some cyanite grains and some platinum grains so well, I'll shut this one in and take away another coat and the honey don't need that no there is a chance of getting grains like that an interesting that's the alpine bee or the alpine bee let's just take the alpine queen out of here but i'll have to first of all send some stuff back to the base i don't need the comb and i don't need the honey i don't really need the glass either but we'll keep that and put 
put it back into the thing. So we have the Alpha and Queen. And if I take the Bealizer, oops, put the Alpha and Queen through here, you'll see it's got this effect fireworks. So let's have a look at that in a second. Put the queen put the queen back in here. It's turned off because I've got to enable with the red note signal. You'll see why in a minute. And here I've got an endemic queen. The endemic queen is actually got another effect. It's got Explorer. And what Explorer does, well, I shall show you straight away, is I'll turn this one on. Watch what happens to my XP levels now. So as it's producing, you'll see my XP levels are slowly creeping up. So I'm getting XP from the Explorer B. Okay. Some more interest bees here. I've got a yellow orium queen. As I said that before. Cyanite. Plutonium. And these have all got the fireworks effect on. So let's put them all on. And the colour of the fireworks is actually dependent on the colour of the bees. Let's go back over here a bit. Uh, maybe we can see from here better. So, I shall leave you with this display. Until next time, bye for now.